Welcome to Protein Synthesis. In this video, you'll explore what protein synthesis is, including the two parts of its process, transcription and translation. Protein synthesis means making protein. Whenever cells want to make any type of protein, they use a process that includes building blocks like amino acids to build new proteins inside of the ribosome. Anytime a cell wants to make a protein, the instructions are transferred from the DNA to the messenger mRNA during transcription. To transcribe means to write something down. During the phase, the instructions are transcribed from the DNA to an mRNA molecule. Let's see how this works. Transcription. Inside the cell's nucleus, a portion of the DNA molecule unwinds, exposing the gene responsible for that protein. The unwound portion serves as a template to copy from. Nucleotides, with the help of enzymes, move along one strand of the exposed gene to form a molecule of mRNA. The purpose of mRNA is to encode the information for a single protein and leave the nucleus with the plants. On RNA, U pairs with A. The nucleus makes multiple copies of the mRNA from the DNA, depending on the amount needed by the cell, and sends all of the mRNA out of the nucleus and into the cytoplasm via tiny openings called nuclear pores. Translation. The protein synthesis process has now entered the second phase, translation. During this step, mRNA along with transfer RNA or tRNA, and ribosomes work together to produce proteins. With the mRNA in the cytoplasm, it binds with a ribosome so that it can be decoded. The mRNA's protein message is read three nucleotide bases, triplet codes, or codons, at a time. Each triplet represents a specific amino acid. During the reading, the corresponding amino acid is activated by the enzyme. A transfer RNA molecule has two ends. One end has a specific binding site for a particular amino acid. The other end has a particular sequence of three nucleotides and the anticodon that can base pair with a codon. The appropriate molecule of tRNA attaches to and carries the activated amino acid to the ribosome. Anticodon bases pair with the codon in order to bring the specific amino acid to the correct place. A second transfer RNA molecule picks up another activated amino acid and brings it to the ribosome, matching anticodon to codon. The first tRNA releases its amino acid to the second transfer RNA and leaves the site. The two amino acids form a peptide bond using ATP as its energy source. The ribosomes read the next codon. Corresponding tRNA brings the activated amino acid to the ribosome. The second tRNA releases its load of amino acids to the third tRNA and leaves the site. Amino acids link up, forming peptide bonds using ATP. The process repeats itself until the entire message is read and all amino acids are brought in sequence, forming a polypeptide chain. This chain folds into its final conformation and is completed and released. Multiple copies of proteins are made as other ribosomes follow the first ribosome. Finally, mRNA is recycled when protein production is complete. The nucleotides are also recycled and are used in other processes. Today, we explored what protein synthesis is and how it works by examining transcription and translation. You've completed protein synthesis.